Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and on this channel I share tips and strategies to help you start and grow the handmade business of your dreams. In my last video I talked all about how I DIY my branding for my Etsy business and I mentioned that I use Canva all the time, probably every single day um, for my branding and for everything visual in my Etsy shop. So in this video, I wanted to kind of walk you through how I use Canva and all of the features that it has and how you can use it to completely DIY your own branding. Have a very visually pleasing shop um, on a budget. So if you haven't yet, I recommend you go and watch my other video. I will link it right up here. In that video, I share some tips for creating a good looking brand as someone who is not a designer. If you want to join Canva, there is a link in the description of this video. This video is not sponsored by Canva, but I did decide to join their affiliate program and I have been using Canva for multiple years. But since I'm gonna start sharing about it on my channel, I decided to join their affiliate program. So I do have a link down there for you. It's no extra cost to you, but I, um, absolutely love canva with all of that being said let's just get into the tutorial and i will show you how i use canva to design my own branding okay so now we are in canva and i do have the pro version of canva and i'll kind of go over what the difference um, between that is and the free version so the first thing that i want to show you and if you watch my other video um, i talked about how important it is to be consistent and to continue to use the same colors over and over and the same fonts over and over so there is this really cool feature with the pro version where you can create a brand kit and you can create multiple so i have a few here and as you can see like grow handmade these are my colors and so they have certain hex codes you can see the hex code here so when you decide on your colors you want to make sure you have those hex codes and then go ahead and put them into canva so you can keep them in canva and make sure that all of your design and everything that you're putting out is the exact same color like not just a close color but the exact same color with the same hex code and then you can also do the same with your fonts you can have a heading font a subheading font and a body font and this just ensures that you are being consistent and then you can also have your brand logo up there as well so then when you want to create a design you go up here to create a design and you can really put in anything like canva has everything so you can do custom dimensions you can start with an image or you can type in what you're trying to create so if you're trying to create say an etsy banner you can type in etsy banner or etsy shop cover is what it's called and it will give you the correct dimensions and then it will show you a bunch of templates so you can scroll through these templates if you don't want to design it yourself you can select one and then you can just modify all of the different elements as much as you want. You can change the font um, to your brand font and so that's going to be right up here in your fonts. Uh, see brand fonts and you can make that your brand font and your colors, your brand colors just in the same way are going to be up here, right here. So you can just click and easily uh, swap those out for your brand colors. And then of course, you can play around with this as much as you want. And when you are ready, you can just download it. You can download it in whatever kind of format that you need it. And you can download it with a transparent background, like if you're doing a logo and it makes sense to have a transparent background, you can do that. And then over here, if you wanna play around a bit more, um, you can upload photos and add that. Um, there are photos within Canva that you can use as well. And then there are tons of elements that you can use. So say you want some flowers, just type in flowers and it comes up with so many different options for you. And with the pro version, you have access to all of this for free. You don't have to worry about copyright. With the free version, there's going to be some free elements that you can use and some free photos that you can use and others that um, it's going to charge you a dollar to download the design. So since I use Canva almost every single day, that's why I have the pro version because I have access to all of these for free and I don't have to pay a dollar or two every time that I create a design. So then you can, of course, add text boxes. There are different kind of text templates, I guess, 
that you can include in there if you like how they look. There are backgrounds you can choose from and yeah, you can just play around with this as much as you want. It's a lot of fun and it becomes easier um, the more you do it, but Canva is honestly super intuitive when you're just getting started. Okay, so beyond a banner, you can also create a logo. So we'll look at what that looks like. Again, it's gonna come up with just a bunch of different types of logos, um, or you can just start from scratch and make it yourself. You can even type in within the templates, maybe Etsy shop. And it will pull up some Etsy logo templates for you to use. So you can also, like I said, um, Canva has templates for literally everything. So if you want to create flyers for your shop, so say promotional flyer and all of these templates here, you can create Instagram posts and Instagram stories. One thing that's really cool with the Instagram stories and really with any design that you create is a feature called animations. So say you're creating a marketing um, Instagram story. So you create your story and then you can animate it. So you can choose these different animations like that one. And then you can download that and it'll be like a five second video. So it's gonna show up like that when someone views your story. There's also effects that you can use with the text so you can just make it look really however you want. So you can use this for all of your social media. You can create Pinterest pins, you can do Facebook posts, Facebook banners, literally anything you can create, product labels. And yeah, it's just like the best way to DIY your own branding and create that consistency, especially with the brand kit feature and just have some really awesome looking branding on a budget. So Canva Pro is $12.95 a month. Like I said, I find it totally worth it because of the brand kit feature and because I can use any of the elements and photos for free and don't have to pay money every time that I download something. If you wanna try out Canva um, for your own business, um, I have it linked down below, and again, this video is not sponsored, but I am in their affiliate program. So I hope that that was helpful, and I hope you go into Canva and play around and have fun with it and create an awesome brand. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and remember, there is a link for Canva down in the description box if you want to join it, join Canva and start using it for your business. I also always have other resources for starting an Etsy shop in the description as well, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.